Hey family, hello, hello, hello. Habari as hello in Swahili. Habari as abui because it's still morning time. That means good morning. All right, guys. Um, I am on this morning just to kind of chit chat with you guys, let you know how I'm doing. Um, so. It has been a week and some days now, guys. Um, yeah, because today's Wednesday. Um, since my surgery. And um, how am I feeling? Well, yesterday was rough, guys. Yesterday it was raining. Um, and I was nervous um, being out in the rain like that. You know, having to get out sometimes. And... Um, yeah, so that was rough. Not only was it raining, I don't care what the doctors say. They say, oh, it has nothing to do with the weather. Yes, it does. When you have arthritis, when you've had surgery, you feel the effects from the weather. Yes, you do. And um, yesterday was one of those days. Um, I had some sharp pains on and off. That was rough. Um yeah um that was rough so <sighs> i had to deal with that sorry family i had to um talk to my husband co-worker so yeah family so um i was experiencing sharp pains guys it reminded me of uh, when i was pregnant with my daughter and um you know you think you're getting comfortable honey them contractions hit like no other so that's kind of how it felt um of course i mentioned it to the doctor and he said it's normal um my ankle is still kind of swollen a little bit um he said it's all normal we shall see um it's been challenging you know i'm not not complaining i just want to kind of give you guys my journey um you know after surgery and um and my process of dealing with it so yeah so um the swelling so yeah got a little swelling but it like again again he said it's normal um i did ice my knee last night because i needed to and um let me see what else today is another day so um so far I had a little pain but not as bad um, and not as sharp the pains that I've been feeling I'll tell you that it is not as how it was before I had surgery I will tell you that so there is a difference with that um, it's just going through the process family the process of, of walking with crutches it's a process <laughs> um, it is not easy um, but you learn your strengths when you go through different things in life. You you do learn your strengths. Um, my husband say I'm hard headed. I wouldn't say I'm hard headed. I am just not used to um, like depending on you know someone with a lot of things I'm, I'm used to doing stuff on my own so that has been challenging for me like having to depend on someone you know to to do a lot of things for me and um i'm trying not to rush the process um it is challenging um not to rush the process i'm trying not to it is challenging um because when you want something, you want it like right away. You know, and it's like I want my legs back 100%. Because even the right one, um, the right one is where I'm putting all of my pressure and everything on because I am not ready to put weight on the left one um, because it hurts. And um, the right one is tired. So that's why I'm still on crutches. Um, because of the pain the pain 
in the movement. Um, I do have a scar, but um, it's not bad. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. Sorry, the noise. Let me see. Um, I don't know if you can see the scar. It's like two scars. Um, not too bad. I have to, he told me to moisturize it. Um, they gave me instructions on what kind of moisturizer to get. Um, I think one was coconut, yeah, coconut lotion. I'm trying to think what else. And I can't think of the other one. Um, so I ordered that through Amazon. I thought it was going to get here yesterday, but it didn't. So I'm hoping today it will so I just used some other kind of lotion that I had um, has aloe in it so they want me to keep that going and of course the aspirin I go back and see him again on the 31st of January he wants to see how I'm doing um, I'm trying to think what else guys uh, I think that's it you know like I said my challenges are um, Sitting, you know, sitting down, letting others take care of me, and um, these crutches—they're <laughs> not—they're not easy, guys. I've never, like I said, I've never in my life been on crutches. This is the first ever, so um, it's challenging. But you know, it also makes me have get a little taste of people who who can't walk. Who deal with this on a daily basis and they don't have a choice you know where okay you may be on it for two or three months or however and then you're back to your normal self so it makes me appreciate and you know appreciate that you know I'm able to to walk you know and to do things and know this is not a permanent thing um, and it also makes me see other people and their struggles of what they have to do every day and they don't complain about it you know um so that's something um and and i acknowledge that you know so yeah yeah guys so that's what it is that's what's going on um do I regret having the surgery so far? No. Um, again, I'm still going through the process. And I'll try to let you guys know, um, you know, as time go along, how I'm doing. Because I want to do, you know, I want to make this video to help someone else out there that's just, you know, they need surgery and they're scared, you know, to do it. They don't want to do it. Um, all their fears of not possibly waking up through the anesthesia i know about all of that because i felt the same way um you know how will i be afterwards you know things like that um i want to kind of you know help some other people out there um to know that you're not alone that it will be okay um that it's a process and you know do it if you medically need to you know do it so i'm hoping that this video helps someone out there that is just not sure if they want to go through the surgery i say do it don't wait as long as i did um to do it maybe that's why it's taking me a little minute to um work through a couple of stumps here and there um because i waited so long i've been dealing with this like i said since 2017 um, and it just started getting, it started getting worse. Like, boom. Not boom, but with, let me see, it started 2019. I started really having effects from not getting it taken care of. So, all right, family, that is it um, for now. Um, I hope you all have a fabulous remaining rest of your day. Um, and please share this video with um, someone, anyone, you know, you never know what video may help someone out there. All right, guys, I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.